Uh, hello everyone, DNA here. I'm gonna do a tutorial on not only getting started, well, kind of, a really short one, and then also finding infinite health for uh, Jack and Daxter 1, the HD remake. So, you should have a folder. Looks kind of like this without this, though. That's just for me. Um, and so, if you boot up NetSheet. Um, if you're not up to date, so the current version at this time is 4.35, if you're not up to date, uh, you'll have to uh, update, just click yes. Um, then the first thing I do is go to options and I set my background foreground. So I do white and uh, black, a uh, gray, gray black. I guess. Uh, looks like that. And then to actually save it, or to actually have it apply at the reboot. There you go. And then the other thing is with NetSheet you can have uh, you can either use CC API or the uh, TM API. Um, if you want to use CC API, you just have to click connect and then type in your PS3's IP connected. Um, it's important to note that when you so if I exit and reboot, it saves it, so you don't have to retype it. But I'm not going to be using that, so I'm going to be using this. Um, which means I can do this, I can connect, and attach. Now the advantage to using this is uh, you get these buttons, pausing and playing. And that also means when searching you can pause and play as well. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to be, oh wait no, one last thing is you have to get the ranges for this game so all you do is click it and it'll scan it automatically it's kind of slow it's not really slow but instead of waiting I'll just cut to when you know it's back all right pretty much at the end um, it's actually a lot slower with the uh, recording so yeah um, then you save it or actually <laughs> I already have one right there so I'll just overwrite that one so Jack 1, you can double click it to open it. Uh, it's already open, obviously, but in when you know if you ever close and reopen, you don't have to find it again. Just double click it. Now back over here. Um, so the way health works in this game is you have if I can I don't know if I can hold this button down. I'll keep it open. Um, you have these three, um, which each mark like I guess a a third, more like a quarter of your health. And then you have this counter. This counter goes up to 50, and 50 is a whole. So if you're missing one of these, so let's say I have two of these and then I have 50, um, it will add, it'll fill up one of these and then it'll set back to zero. Um, and then if you ever reach, like if I got 50 of these and then all full of these, it would just cap at 50, it wouldn't go higher. Um, and when I get hit, also, it, uh, it, decrements this to zero if it's 50 instead of you know affecting that but if it's like not 50 so if it's four or something um, then it'll decrement this and I'll keep four so because it maxes out at 50 and I don't think it, it wouldn't make sense for it to be a float because it doesn't have you know decimals after it's just a whole number the whole time uh, I'm gonna assume it's an integer, and I'm also going to assume it's one byte. Just just because it doesn't go past 255, which is the max for a byte. So, right now it's at zero. That will give me a lot of results. So let's actually get some right there. So that will give us two. So, um, now the range I'm going to search for, I'm just going to search from this to four. So the logic behind that is this is so big that searching it will take forever and um, in my mind most of the stuff in here are going to be like the models for the games and not uh, not like anything useful for what I want to find so I'm just going to keep within this range over here and then I, I don't know what's over here. Well I mean I know what this is. Also um, codes I've already found, infinite double jumps which is uh, I just ported the one from uh, PS2 that Bungholio found, and then the frame. So if you go over to the snapshotter, 
enter the frame and then I'm outputting at 480p because I'm using this SDTV uh, it might be a little yeah ripped but that's because I didn't pause the game which only works with CCP or without CCPI um, but yeah it's kind of cool and then for push users control C will copy it and then control F5 uh, if that works yeah and then you can push it so nope um, Alright, let's search for zero. Also pause the or two. Also pause the game as well. So we'll get a lot of results. And it's gonna take a little bit longer because I'm recording, so I'm gonna pause and come back when it's done. Alright, we're back and um Yep, found a bunch. So we're gonna get another thing of health, so it's four. And next scan. And this will take a lot less time, so I don't I think I'll have to pause. Nah, not gonna take that long. Yeah, so what I did from the last version to speed everything up was I made a custom, really custom everything actually, so custom progress bar, custom this view. And that lets me minimize the amount of memory that items use. Like every item in here is really small in memory. And then uh, I also just changed how searching worked. Um, let's see. So we have four, and that's too much to work with. So we need to get more. So that's six. All right, that's good. We'll just. Okay, so that's not going to work, so we can just delete this. Alright, we'll try each one. So if you select all of them, and then control C, it'll copy it over as a code. It's really laggy because of the recording. Um, and then, let's see if I... I don't know, let's try writing this one first. And then... Or, sorry, we should probably put these all at, like... Values greater than, or actually, so I can distinguish which one which one is actually working. Okay. Um. So this is doing, can't really make out what's. <laughs> um, I s it did go open when I okay yeah I think this is. Alright, so this is what's affecting it for some reason, but it's not working as it should. Maybe the, yeah, I think the game is, um, writing it over constantly, which is bad. So I don't think I can use this, can I? So let's set it to, um, 255. Yeah, you can see it kind of flicker between 255. Um, if I hit spikes, will this? Okay, it's not gonna work. Fuck. <laughs> um, that's lame. That's 64, 30, it would be 48, so 32. No, okay. I was just checking if, if I gave myself 50, whether or not it would um, give me back a quadrant, but it won't. <sighs> All right, let's just save this. Uh, so, not working. Infinite health. All right. Um. I guess the only other method to me that might work is uh hold up. Alright, the only other method I can think of is um actually finding the quadrants. So in this case I have two quadrants that are available. Um so maybe if I search for two Maybe. I don't know. Let's let's find out. Let's if I search for two. Also, where was this mem in the memory? Okay, both of these things are in this, the the two zero million whatever you want to call it um, range. So I'm just gonna assume it, they're always in that area for what I'm looking for. So I'm just not gonna search for that through the whole memory. Um, yeah, we'll search for two one byte once again. Um, and I'll start, and I guess this probably will take a while, so I'll have to actually pause it. Search is done, so, uh, let's see, 
We have to lose another quadrant or gain one. It's probably easier to lose one, so <laughs> let's just lose one. Um, and search for one. Okay. Uh, let's just search through it again. Okay, and then I guess I assume this will never move. So if we load the my old save again, it will get set back to three, and then we can search for three. Yeah. All right. These are equal to three. So let's select all of them. Constant write it. Set to one, set that to two, set that to one. None of them are affecting it, but let's see if, like, oh, it's, wait, no, oh, I froze, I think. Yeah, I froze. Oops. Hmm. Let's, the other thing I like about the debugger, or Tmappy, is I can do this. And figure out why I froze. LWZ. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, well. We can do that. Yeah, <laughs> if it worked. Alright. <laughs> Good old mopping. Alright, let's unpause. Holy crap. What the hell just happened there? I think it. Um, what? <laughs> That's interesting. Maybe I should save this. Yeah, I'm saving this. <laughs> Actually, it's a knob, so it's six. Yeah. Alright. Um,. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Actually, what I could do is. If it doesn't, yeah, I'll just exit to XMB and then reboot. Here, I'll just pause and come back when it's done doing that. Alright, we're back. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try one of these at a time. And hope that we find the one that worked works um, without freezing. So, this one doesn't to be freezing me. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see if I get hit. Nope, that definitely doesn't work. Okay. Try this one. Um, trying together. No, I definitely die. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Can't even hear what they're saying, but I know it's stacks there, so. Um, Alright, I think it's safe to say this one freezes me. So, how do I. Hmm. Okay, my idea didn't work. Alright, there's one other idea that I guess would might work. Would might work, that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna do X byte, actually, because did I just see. I'll have to look at the recording. Um. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the idea that it's each one is its own byte, marking whether it works or not, or it's on or not. Maybe. This doesn't seem likely, but why not? Okay, I'll pause. Alright, it's done. So, I'm gonna... Oh, actually, well... Yeah, it's only... Hold up. Just so we get rid of... A few. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't... Thing, the other thing the problem is... Um, I don't actually know which one... Like, I don't know which one of these will be set to zero because I did that. So, I'm gonna go with changed and hope that actually gets me something I want. 
<laughs> that gets me zero. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know whether or not it's broken or that's just how it went. So yeah, that's nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have. How do I do this one? All right, let's let's try just. And we'll pause again. Alright, so now we're gonna hurt ourselves and then search for zero. I've decided that if this doesn't work, which it probably won't, honestly, um, I'm gonna do the messy and basically do an unknown initial scan. Uh, I don't have that added, but it's the equivalent of it. And then. Um, hold on, I've actually, and then do that, and then just search for something that's changed. So just keep doing that as I get hurt, which works pretty well actually. Usually, but it just takes longer. Um, anyway, uh, so this should be set back to one. Okay. jump and get rid of certain things. Ooh, let's look, let's go this way. Let's go spin in a circle. Alright. Get hurt. Okay. Oh wait, no, the, I was searching for... Okay, just jump over it, that was cool. <laughs> um, I was searching for this one, I think, so... Right. Why not? I guarantee you, though, they're gonna freeze. <laughs> There's something stupid. Alright, what's up? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see if I get hurt. Yep, I die. Alright. Didn't think that would work. Alright, one other thing is this. Alright, so basically, in order to do that, you do greater than or equal to zero. I'll do four byte. And. Um, because everything's treated, I, I have to change this, this, this is, con to me it's considered a bug, but it should be, everything's treated as unsigned, so technically negative one is greater than zero, it's, it, does, it doesn't treat it as negative one, it would treat it as like 255 if it was a byte or something, so, um, everything's unsigned versus signed, uh, but, let's do this, yeah, everything, <laughs> see, um, I'll pause and hopefully I don't uh, run out of memory. All right, so we're back. I found that looks like 16 million results, 16.7. Um, I looked at the task manager. I'm using 996 kilobytes of memory, or megabytes, sorry, and basically almost a gig, and it took only like 68 seconds. So it's pretty good. Um, now that we've done that, all we have to do is get hurt and search. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just try to find this quadrant one. I'm not gonna do the, um, you know, the other version. Search for changed. It's good. Okay, that makes sense. Um, That's a problem. Uh, <laughs> all right, I have an idea. Though. Instead of searching, because if you look at all the stuff we found, they've all been before this. So let's let's if I okay, let's use calculator. So. Um. So this is going to give me, um, I can't read apparently, f uh, 4 million results. So that's that's a lot better, that's dealable. So let's do that again. And we'll pause. Alright, that was a lot faster. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna look into that that duplicating thing because it's probably it could probably be done without du duplicating the results. So probably. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, okay, I'll work on that. Um, anyway, back to what we're doing. So we have. So we'll search for changed, of course. Get hit. Next. Okay, and then I could die, or I could just load it up again, so I'm going to load. Okay, and then I can do the whole unchanged searching thing, so if I like... Yeah, that's gonna cut it. Oh yeah, that's like, God, I basically got rid of everything. Just good. That's what I want to see. Um. Okay. Keep. All right. We'll go back to changed. Uh, this reminds me of uh, using the emulator, PS2 emulator, and uh, cheat engine. That's what I used to do all the time. Yeah. And then you just kind of do a bunch of things to get rid of all the. Uh, uh, things that change that don't that you don't care about. God, we're so close. <laughs> Come on, give me like ten. I can do ten results. <laughs> God. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're just gonna. This is gonna take a while. Changed and unchanged. Nothing's really affected by like whether I'm moving or well, they're all equal to zero. That is something to <laughs> take note of. Not all of them, but a lot of them. That's really strange. Okay, I'm getting rid of some of it, which is what I want. I don't really know what else to to press. To can I crouch? Is that a thing? Yeah, I don't think I, I think at this point it's like whoa. Spider Jack. Um yeah. I don't think I'm going to get it be able to get it down that much anymore. I'm going to save this before I mess up <laughs> cuz that's going to happen. There you go. Um, okay.
Alright, what we're going to do is, since I can't seem to really narrow this down anymore, we'll do one more change and then unchanged when I respawn, so I'm not full, change, changed. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to copy, I don't think zero is good, so I'm going to copy every, anything that looks suspicious. This looks suspicious. These both are suspicious. I'm pretty sure I found those already too. Did I add that to this? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, anything that really stands out. So these stand out to me. So copy those and we'll constantly write them. And hope to God I don't freeze. Okay. That's good. Oh, look who has infinite health. Haha, -ha, got it. All right, which I don't know which one affects it. Is it? All right, we'll keep. Oh, it's this one. Hell yeah. All right, there you go. Infinite health. Let's save in that. All right, there you go. Um, I'm actually really happy about that. I, did, I had no idea this would work. Okay, um, well there you go, uh, I said that three times basically in a row. Um, thanks for watching, hopefully you learned something, maybe you did, I learned something. <laughs> Not really, but I'm still surprised that worked. Usually when I pick out things from this list that I think are suspicious, um, that doesn't work out. And the reason I thought this was suspicious, just because, um, when I was looking for that 010101 zero, zero, I just think of this one it kind of reminded me of that and when you see values like this they're just so random that they usually don't mean anything and then the zeros to me were obvious that they didn't have any value so I only picked out ones that look like integers and in this case suspiciously like that alright but um yeah thanks for watching